dialogue is really special. Um, you know, it's the way that we interact with one another and it's a way to kind of give feedback to one another. And so, you know, if I'm saying something that doesn't ring true or you're skeptical of, then you can question me about it um, or you can correct me. She's one of the most influential women in AI, yet she avoids the spotlight. She's helped shape ChatGPT, Dolly, and some of the most talked about AI tools in history. Today, we reveal 10 key facts about Mira Murati, the visionary reshaping technology as we know it. Mira Murati is a chief architect behind OpenAI's strategy. This looks like the uh, OpenAI logo. It is. Ilya actually painted this. Ilya, the chief scientist. Yes. What is the flower meant to symbolize? My guess is that it's AI that loves humanity. Born in Albania, dreaming big. Mira Murati was born on December 16, 1988, in Vlora, Albania, a coastal city on the Adriatic Sea. Growing up in the post-communist 1990s, she witnessed a society undergoing transformation. That environment sparked her interest in progress, problem-solving, and how technology could leapfrog limitations. A scholarship that changed everything. At age 16, Mira won a scholarship to attend Pearson United World College in Canada, a school dedicated to global learning and leadership. This was her first time living abroad, and she says it taught her to think internationally from day one, a mindset that would define her career in tech. Dual degrees, double the drive. She didn't just study, she engineered her own education. Mira earned a Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics from Colby College and a Bachelor of Engineering from Dartmouth Thayer School of Engineering. This unique blend of analytical theory and practical engineering gave her the tools to bridge science and product design, a rare combination in the AI world. And, um, I was very interested in math and eventually in physics as well, mm -hmm. um, but I, yeah, I was, my, my interest in math and physics and science in general started from very early age and then eventually I went on to pursue engineering, studied engineering and math later in college and went to work in aerospace and automotive. From cars to code at Tesla. In 2013, she joined Tesla as senior product manager for the Model X SUV. This wasn't just about building a car, it was about integrating advanced software, aerodynamics and safety systems into a futuristic electric vehicle. The Model X featured advanced technology, such as falcon wing doors and cutting-edge battery systems. Her involvement in its product management highlighted her skill in balancing ambitious design with manufacturability and user experience. She learned firsthand how to take ambitious tech from concept to market. Though her time at Tesla was brief about three years, her work there laid a solid foundation in product development, team coordination, and innovation leadership skills she later carried into her standout career in AI. So I really just loved the idea of making things and building things and not uh, stopping at, at the theory of, of things, but really figuring out how to, how to bring the science into the real world and how to bring that knowledge into the real world. Leap motion and the future of interaction. After Tesla, Mira became VP of Product and Engineering at Leap Motion, a company creating hand tracking technology for computers and VR. The idea? A world where you could control digital objects with natural hand movements. She pushed for integrating Leap Motion's technology into VR headsets, laying groundwork for more immersive mixed reality experiences. While Leap Motion didn't become mainstream, the work taught her the importance and difficulty of making cutting-edge tech user-friendly. Um, but, you know, when, when reality seems, seems messy, there is also, at least in my case, there was also this inner sense of possibility and having this inner sense of freedom. And Joining OpenAI. In June 2018, she joined OpenAI as VP of Applied AI and Partnerships. Her job, connect research with real-world applications. At the time, OpenAI was still a small, research-heavy organization. Mira helped turn it into a product powerhouse. We're very focused on dealing with the challenges 
um, or hallucination, truthfulness, um, reliability, alignment of these models. Her notable achievements across roles includes interdisciplinary leadership, built and led teams blending research science, engineering, and product management, product impact, directly contributed to launching some of the most influential AI tools of the decade, ethics and safety advocacy, strong proponent of aligning AI with societal needs and safety considerations. I think really learning from this contact with reality and figuring out a way to collectively bring the input from mm -hmm. society into building our models has been a very valuable lesson. The force behind ChatGPT, DAL-E and Codex. Under her leadership, OpenAI launched ChatGPT which reached 100 million users in just two months. She also oversaw DAL-E, the AI art generator and Codex, which powers GitHub Copilot. Each of these tools took years of research and testing to ensure they could be used safely and effectively by millions. Alignment and safety of GPT-4. And we started thinking about things that we could do. And uh, one, of, one of the main things was actually to put ChatGPT in the hands of uh, researchers out there that could give us feedback. Leading in a crisis. In November 2023, OpenAI faced a major leadership shakeup when CEO Sam Altman was abruptly removed. Mira stepped in as interim CEO, navigating boardroom tensions, public speculation, and internal uncertainty. Within days, Altman returned. But Myra's steady leadership during the chaos earned her respect across the industry. Striking out on her own. In September 2024, Mira left OpenAI to found Thinking Machines Lab, a public benefit corporation dedicated to building AI that is transparent, customizable, and deeply aligned with human values. Her goal wasn't to chase hype, but to rethink AI from the ground up. Its stated mission emphasizes building foundations for accessible AI, publishing open science outputs, and fostering tools that work with people, not just for them. Billions in backing, zero compromise. By July 2025, Thinking Machines Lab had raised $2 billion in seed funding, reaching a $12 billion valuation. Investors included NVIDIA, AMD, Cisco, and Andreessen Horowitz. Marathi has built a standout roster of talent, about 30 top researchers and engineers from leading AI labs, such as OpenAI, MetaAI, Mistral, Google DeepMind, and Character AI. Key leaders include John Schulman, OpenAI co-founder, now chief scientist at Thinking Machines Lab. Barrett Zoff, formerly VP of Research at OpenAI, now the CTO. VentureBeat. Jonathan Lockman, ex-head of special projects at OpenAI, now part of the founding team. Advisors include Bob McGrew and Alec Radford, both influential former OpenAI researchers. She even turned down a $1 billion acquisition offer for Meta, proving that her vision matters more than any paycheck. On one end, we are developing the most advanced AI systems, um, but to figure out how to develop them in a way that's aligned with human intentions and deploy them in a way that's safe and it actually benefits people, you can't do it in a vacuum. You yeah. have to do it in collaboration with, with people. From Vlora to Silicon Valley, Mira Marathi's story is one of vision, resilience, and purpose. She's not just building AI. She's shaping the conversation about how it should serve humanity. The progress that we're making with mm. these technologies brings me a lot of optimism about the possibility of dealing with great challenges, you know, when it comes to education and climate change um, or medicine that we talked about earlier. Yeah. Which fact impressed you the most? Let's talk in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend who loves tech stories. In a way, these technologies have already changed the nature of many jobs. Like, for example, now there is this job as a prompt engineer that didn't exist um, a couple of years ago. So that is something new. And, uh, you know, of course, whenever you have new jobs, I'm sure some jobs will disappear. But right now what we're seeing is that um, 
humans are collaborating with these models and the outputs are mostly hybrid. I think 